Hi, I'm Barbara Sharon. I'm the principal at Sharon Law Offices located in Edwardsville and now with a new location in Belleville, Illinois. This afternoon, I want to talk about highlights and changes to the Illinois Marriage of Dissolution Act, which took place in January of 2016. I want to start with talking about abuse of allocated parenting time, or what we refer to as Section 607.5. But before I get started, I want to be clear that nothing in this video is intended to render legal advice. Also, I want to be extremely clear because I get asked this question all the time. Yes, you need to comply with court orders. If there's a court order, you absolutely need to comply with it. Section 605, which allows you to file a petition for abuse of allocated parenting time, is another method to ensure that you get your parenting time. Prior to this provision being instituted, if your parenting time was denied, the other party could file a petition for contempt or a petition for rule to show cause against you, or they had and still have the option of getting the police involved, making a police report, and sometimes a party would be charged with a misdemeanor offense for interfering with visitation time. However, under this new provision, one of the things that's really important is this. If you are being denied parenting time, you need to reach out to the other parent and have evidence of this. Text them, email them, don't just do phone calls, but do something in writing showing you're trying to resolve a visitation dispute. For instance, if your time is being denied to you, text or email the other parents. See if you can get makeup time. Find out why they're denying the time to you. Offer alternatives. Likewise, if for some reason you don't intend to send your child or children to the other parent for their court-ordered parenting time, which used to be known as visitation or custody time, reach out to the other parent. Let them know that you have a problem. Can you do it another time? Try and resolve the dispute. Offer something else. Or if you intend not to offer it all, at all, at least explain to them and see what you can do. Can you get somebody there to supervise the time if you're concerned about the other parent's ability to watch your child appropriately? You want to have something in writing because one of the provisions of 607.5 is that there has to be some effort to resolve the dispute. Again, you need to comply with court orders. This video is not intended to offer you specific legal advice. Every situation is different. The best way to find out how to handle your situation is to call us at 692-6656 or visit us online at sharelaw.com.